Kavon here with another video, another scripting video for the Code Curious. So this one was inspired by this post on the community forums where he's got a table, um, a table that has, looks like, eight fields with numbers in them, and he wants to take the five largest ones from those eight fields. This technically could be done with formula fields, but it gets really, really tricky and long and complicated when if you have more than, say, three numbers that you're trying to pick out. Uh, so it's best done with scripting. And so I have not actually coded this yet. Not sure how I'm going to do it, but what I did do was I have a little script here that I'm going to run that creates this table here and let's kind of go from here so now here we have a table it's got eight different fields here that's just got some random numbers in there and we want to say have a total of the top five so let's go ahead and install scripting app and see what this is like so first thing i like to do is create variables for all of my tables and fields so that um if i have the change they're all right at the top and different from business logic so const table is based get table demo and then i'm going to have nine different fields num one table get field num1 and then we actually have eight of those oops is that eight yeah probably all right and this is two three four five six seven eight and then over here, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And what I also like doing is fields red. And I'm just going to put in here two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is something that I do to make reading things easier when you're to make sure that you're not reading too much. Oh, it's got a comma. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then we also need to define this field where we're going to store the answer. Field top five. We'll get field top five. Well, maybe it's called this total. And we don't actually need to read that field value. So let's see here. The basic idea is we need to take, get a record, find out what all these values are, find the top five, sum them up, and then save it in the other field. And then this is another habit I have. Just like saying this. If, I, if this is eventually going to be an automation script, I wouldn't do this with output. Markdown, I do a console log. Actually, I won't even do a cancel log because no one's going to look at it. So, start with my main script. First thing we're going to do is get the record. We'll await table at select. No, no, sorry. We're going to need an input record async and Pick a record from the table. Okay. And then I just do this. If not record, let's go ahead and return because I don't like squiggly red underlines. Okay, so we have the record and now let's make sure we got the record. 
and see what we have. So let's just pick this first one. There we go. We've got our record object. There it is. Okay. Now let's get all of the values from it. So how about we say const um, num1 is going to be record get cell value field num1. And then let's just do this with all of three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and let's put them in array. Nums, num one, num two. Three, and four, five, and now six, and now seven, and now eight. And let's do let's get to log all numbers so we can see what it's like. Pick a record. All of our numbers, there they are. And but they're all in the order that they showed for it. And let's go ahead, and in order to get the top ones, let's go ahead and sort those. So let's do all nums sort. And console log that again. There we go. So our record, here's where they were before the sort. And now let's look at it after it's sorted. There we go. We can see what all the numbers. Now that they're sorted and we want to get the top, what was it, top five of them. So that means we'd want to start at index one, what, three, and then go from there. So if we did three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I don't want to do the math, so let's just make it easy. So let's say const top five is all nums dot slice, and let's start from the third one and see if that gives us five. Cause, you know, it's easier just to try it out and see how many it gives me rather than do the math sometimes. I'm lazy that way. Plus, you know, just trying things out. That works. Oh, all right, I've got five elements in my array, good. So these were the top five numbers. Now let's go ahead and do a sum of them. So sum of top five is, we're gonna take those top five, reduce, and for the reduce, we wanna start with we have a total and the number, and we'll use our arrow function. And what we want to return is the total plus the number, and our initial values could just go ahead and be zero. So log sum of top five. There we go. And this is saying it's 32. Why did I choose this? I just said that I don't like doing arithmetic. Let's see. Okay, well, let's see. Seven and eight is 15. Nine and four. Well, seven and eight is 15 plus another 17. Yep, that's 32. Sounds good. Okay, so we've got that one. Oh, kicks and giggles, let's just go pick a different one. Let's see, how about this one? So we can see here our original numbers, then the top fives will be when they're sorted. Oh, this is interesting. So it sorts here with zero first and then one, then the tens, because it looks like this is a alphabetic sort rather than a numeric sort. So 
we'll have to take care of that because that is obviously going to give us the wrong numbers because that's not what we want at all. So this is where we need to go. Let's see, sort, offer a numeric sort. Let's try A comma B and let's see. It's either A greater than B or A less than B or something like that. Oh, it's interesting. It's got some help here. If I was going to sort it in ascending. Ah, I wish I could read that help text a little bit more. So I obviously don't use sort that often. Oh, here we go. Sorts an array in place. This method mutates an array and turns a reference to the same array. And function is used to return. It is expected to return a negative value if the first argument is less than. And, oh, well, it is zero if they're equal to positive. That just says a through minus b. So let's just go ahead and do that. And we'll need to make sure that we pick this same one. So this is the one that started with 2, 5, 10. And this one here. Let's take a look. Let's start with our sorted ones. Let's do sort this one probably. Yay, success! So we look here. So now this is a correct sort because we had to adjust our sort. This is also what's really important to test with multiple things. Let's take a look at our top five so it doesn't include the zero or the first two, the twos. And when we add them up together, that's five and five is 10, two more 10 is 36. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so all we have to do now is write that total back into the field. So we're going to do that with a update record. So wait, table dot update record, we need async. We uh, only need to update one record here. So we can see here, we're gonna start with record update and then we need to have our fields object. And the fields object, let's start, what was it? Field total, this one here, dot name. And the value we want is the sum of top five. All right, that should do it. Let's close this up here. And so if we can see if this gets filled in. So let's, let's run this, let's pick the top one. There it is, it's 32. Run this, pick that other one. There it is, it's 36. Okay. And if we wanted to, we could have a button field. So said, calculate top five total. Let's make this a button field. And I like my buttons to look more like buttons. And this is going to run a script in this dashboard. And let's create that. And let's also change the name of the script. And now we can click this button and it works for each one. Okay. Um, let me know if this was useful, if this was interesting, if you would like to see how we could change this so that it could run as an automation or change it so that we would click the button once and it would calculate it all for records in a particular view. Okay. But that's it for now. Enjoy.